Welcome back guys. I hope you're enjoying your weekend because uh, I certainly am. This is another important lesson we can, a weekend where we just learn lessons on how to be a better human being. So with that in mind, let's jump into this Generation Hope video. Dom, why don't you grab everyone's papers and bring them up to the front? Yes, sir. Uh, look at cool. Thank you. Cool guy McGee over Thank here. You. Cool guy McGee over here with this leather jacket. Am I like too zoomed in? You can see all my, you can see how messy my room is now. Anyway, check out cool guy McGee over here with this leather jacket. Oh, next time, how about you get a board that can handle the neutron style? <laughs> Ew, look at this paper, it looks all dirty like Charlie. Tom, um, that's enough. Charlie, you know all assignments are supposed to be typed out on a computer, right? I'm sorry, Mr. Fields. I don't have a computer at home right now. Any relationship to Mrs. Fields, owner of the uh, cookie chain? I'm just curious, I would like some free cookies. Anyway, you know, all homework is supposed to be typed out on a computer. What if I don't have a computer? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel dumb for asking me such a stupid question? You ever think about that? You gonna buy me the computer teacher? A computer is not a basic necessity. That's a big word for me. Necessity. I don't have to tell you. Just remember, you can always use the school computers to do your homework, all right? Man, okay. come back here! What type of a loser doesn't have a computer? I'm going to print out the study guide for next week's exam, and I'll be right back. Mr. Fields, please don't leave me in here. I'm scared. They're gonna bully me again. Take me with you, Mr. Fields. Let me, let me be your little assistant. I don't know if you guys notice. I got a, a nice beanie on. It's a new beanie. Um. They said this was made for big heads, but I guess I just have a ginormous head, like literal six head, um, because this thing's tight. And I'm so used to my beanie, and you're probably wondering, Digital, what happened to your beanie? Where's your beanie at? Um, I don't know if you can see, this one's rising and stuff. Uh, my beanie's downstairs. I was too lazy to walk downstairs to go get it. So I'm wearing this one. I'm got, I guess I gotta stretch it out. I just need to find a fully inflated basketball and just stretch it over it, then it'll be fine. My mom had a phone like this 100 years ago. Just give that back, it's so old. A pathetic slob like you doesn't need to call anyone. My parents can't afford another one. Bro's missing a battery, that's not even a <laughs> The prop department couldn't even afford a poor person's phone. <laughs> I feel like Generation Hope, their idea of a poor person is give them some fingerless gloves. Poor people can't afford the finger, the, you know, the gloves with fingers on them. Whereas Darman's like smart people can solve Rubik's cubes. Anyone who can solve a Rubik's cube has a thousand IQ, you know? Stop being so mean. How that thing trust you with one battery? It Give it back already! Uh, ah! Look what you did! Boys, what's going on in here? Better not say anything. Yeah, I won't put you up. Sorry, Mr. Fields. I keep wanting to call him Mrs. Fields. Sorry, Mr. Fields. I was trying to open my backpack, the zipper got stuck, and I pulled a little too hard and it kind of flew everywhere. So I'm just, I'm just picking up the mess because, you know, stupid old poor stinky me. My backpack just broke. Okay, pick up a test assignment for next week and we'll see you Wednesday. Charlie, stick behind, I want to talk to you. I like the constant, the, the TikTok boom sound effect every time something happens. Why didn't he say boom, you know? Sound effect. I think a teacher should know when someone's getting bullied, especially when it's that obvious. You shouldn't have to ask the student, you know, hey, are you being bullied? No, it should be pretty obvious that he is getting bullied. Yeah, that's, that's all you gotta say about that. Is there any way your parents can buy you a new one? No, we're not able to get anything new right now. My dad just lost his job and we're being evicted. I don't have another backpack for you to use, but um, hold on. Charlie, I'm sorry I asked. I, I wasn't trying to hear your whole life story. Womp womp, I guess. Um, you know, it would be pretty smart if we went into the uh, lost and found and see if someone lost a backpack in there. Maybe you can use that, I guess. This is the best as I can do. Not the trash bag. Maybe you can put your books in this for today. And after lunch, I'll look in the lost and found and I'll see if there's anything in there that you can use, all right? You didn't write us out to Mr. Fields, did you? No. You better not. Just get that back! Oh man, you look homeless carrying that trash bag around. I would I'd be like, cool, cause I am! Anyway, give me back my trash bag. Y'all just haters, man. You haters cause you don't have a, a cool trash bag backpack like me. You just haters because I can pick up my home because I don't have a home. I could, any place could be my home. 
I'm the wanderer, baby. I ain't a lone wolf out here in these streets. <laughs> the world's my home now. I'm gonna be carrying this trash bag around if y'all didn't rip my bag. I didn't rip anything. Got it? Are you really that broke you can't even afford deodorant? Of course you can't afford deodorant. Look at how old and dirty his clothes are. My parents can't afford all this nice stuff that y'all can have. So can I please just have this back? I'd be like, ew, you touched me, bro? You even know what I rolled around in this morning? That's gross. I'd go wash your hands if I were you before you get sick. And they'd leave you alone. I'd be like, you know, if you're too close to me, you can actually get sick. And I would start coughing. They wouldn't want to be around you. And anytime they came around you, I'd just start coughing. People would be like, ooh, brother, ooh. Brother, ooh. Why are you like that? Mm. I think you're a slob. Oh, stop! Please stop! Why are you talking about I'm sorry. Let me clean that up for you. No, sir. So <laughs> you look like he gives a shower, stinky. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, they just dumped Gatorade and chips on you. If you had no food, I, I'd be like, I'd be trying to catch those bad boys. I'd be like, thanks for the free meal, dummies. You f you're literally feeding me right now. Making me stronger for when I come back to school tomorrow. You look so pathetic with your old clothes. Oh. Old clothes. Who, oh. Whose room is this cafeteria in? Oh. What's going on over here? Everybody stop! Oh. Who did this? Who did this? You literally just saw everyone who did it. And you're asking who did this? Did you walk into that room with your eyes closed? Like what happened, teacher? Did you just... Are you blind? Can you not see? How do you just ask, who, who did this as everyone who did it starts to separate? Uh, I would just like to let everyone know. I'll probably be making like a hobbies video talking about all my hobbies and why hobbies are such a cool thing. You know, a new type of video. Uh, I'll do that, I'm going on a trip this weekend so I'll do that when I get back. But I bought another Gundam kit. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm like, it looks pretty cool so I can't wait to build this one. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. I bought, I say I bought a new Gundam kit, but I bought like three new ones, so that's cool. Anyway, besides me and my nerdy hobbies, how's, how, how's everyone else? You guys, you guys doing cool, cool people stuff? I wouldn't know. Dom, Tyler. Come on, Mr. Fields, we didn't do anything. Yeah, we were just trying to help him and then he fell and got food all over himself. I want you both in my office now. Hi, I'm That's someone's room. I just want you to know. Okay, you know, I, it's not like I have a professional studio where I can rent out a school or anything. You know, you gotta make use of what you got. I'm just saying that, that's someone's room. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm, <laughs> absolutely nothing wrong with that. Well, digital, don't want you laughing. <laughs> sons have been bullying another student today. Bullying? Is this true, Dom? It's not that big of a deal. He smells sometimes and he dresses up in old rags. Tyler, I'm so disappointed in you. <sighs> Son, what have I told you about bullying? If you get caught bullying another shit, now I'm gonna have to bully you. Is that what you want? You see what you're making me do? Now I gotta pull up my sleeves and I'm just gonna have to bully you. You made me do this. Don't, don't you forget that I didn't want to, but you made me do this. It's gonna hurt me more than it's gonna, I lied. Actually, it's gonna hurt you more than <laughs> It's gonna suck for you. You were making fun of him because he's poor. Yes, sir. Look, Charlie's parents have been going through a real rough patch recently, haven't they, Charlie? Yes. Dom, I want you to apologize to this boy right now. What? No way. That's how you know someone's rich is when they point with their pinky. They don't even use their pointer finger. They're too classy for that. They apologize to him right now. They use this. Not, not like that, but you know, just with the thumb out, just, you know. We're sorry, Charlie. Yeah. So can I get my new phone now? Absolutely not. You call that an apology? Not only are you not getting a new phone, but you're gonna donate all of your things to Charlie. What? What? That's a great idea, Tyler. You Whoa, that's the type of punishment I've been seeking, bro. That's, that's the type of punishment I want in darn man videos. You know, instead of this person going through like a montage of a day where they, they learn their lesson and then good things still happen to them in the end, no, 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 I, I want them to be miserable in the end and still bad things happen because they, they did bad things in general. You don't do bad things, act like a jerk, and then, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my whole life around within a day. It doesn't work like that. That's not fair. Oh, you know what's not fair? 
is that this young man is being bullied because his parents are having a hard time you and can't give him the same things that we give to you. <laughs> We're gonna go home right now and pack up all of your things. You don't have to do that. It's very kind of you. It's very kind of you, Charlie, but <laughs> now nah, he needs to get beat up. <laughs> when we get home, you're not only are you gonna pack up all your things, you're gonna put on your boxing gloves, and I'm gonna show you what not fair really looks like, all right? Your mom learned this lesson the hard way too. <laughs> learning this lesson today, man. Our sons need to learn what it means to be good people. And good people don't bully others, especially just because they're less fortunate. Get your things done. Come on, we're going home. This won't happen oh. yet. Well, that, <laughs> this is the second video this weekend that I'm probably making on a poor person being shamed. <laughs> Dude, what's... Why, why you keep making videos on poor people? <laughs> Was, I, I, unintentional. Oh man, this is a good ending, you know? Don't get me wrong, I love my Darman videos, but. <laughs> Seeing sweet justice like this being served fills the heart right up. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.